Kevin Smith wanted to do a lot of films starring these two characters. And later that they would have their own film and so on and so forth. And that they would get their own animated film. And yeah, it's really that good. Anyways, this is Derek Yosh, and today I'm going to review Clarks and more. So let's get into it. The story and what the movie is about, alright? So basically, uh, it revolves around Dante and Randall, and basically, they gotta get through this day of working at the Quick Stop and at the video store. And karma ensues, and basically, it goes from here to there, and basically that's it, because other than that, I don't want to spoil this movie, honestly. Um, the characters, uh, Dante. Dante is pretty much uh, this person that wants to have uh, succeeds and goals in life, but as uh, for that, it gets messed up a lot by somebody. Kind of. Okay, so let's move on to Randall. Randall is basically your slack off uh, homies and basically um, he just likes to talk about a lot of stuff. But of course, if you are trying to hook up with two chicks, he fucks it up for you. And basically... That's it. That's Randall in the nutshell. But I really like Randall because Randall is someone I can relate to. Yeah, but he's kind of an asshole a little bit. But hey, um, the guy was going through a lot. Okay, Jay and Silent Bob. Jay and Silent Bob uh, makes this movie as uh, good as it is. I mean, honestly, uh, Dante and Randall um, make the film enough as it is, but uh, yeah, um, you have this chick that slept with a lot of guys, and Dante's old girlfriend, uh, Caitlin, yeah, and as for the other characters, either they're customers, or Dante and Randall's friends, or it's either Jay and Silent Bob, and stuff like that. Okay, so let's move on to uh, the acting by the actors and actresses, some of the actresses that was in here. Alright, well, Brian, I, I can't pronounce the rest of his name, I'm gonna fucking butcher it, but Brian does a phenomenal job as Dante. Uh, Jeff Anderson does a phenomenal job as Randall. Uh, Jason Mewes does a phenomenal job as Jay. And Kevin Smith does a phenomenal job as Silent Bob. And the two actresses uh, that played Caitlin and the, guy, and the chick that slept with 37 guys... Uh, yeah, they did a phenomenal job as well. And for everyone else, they did a phenomenal job. Um, let's get into the writing. Uh, as the movie goes from point A to point B to point C, I actually like all of it. I really do like all of it. I like the start, the middle, and the end. And it is really that good. Really. And the dialogue. This is just a curse storm, and basically it has movie references and uh, some good stuff like that, honestly. And let's get into uh, the cinematography and the visuals. <coughs> Excuse me. The cinematography and the visuals actually looks good for a 1994 film. And also that this film is shot in black and white. And that was really awesome and good at the same time. And some people hate that, but 
for me, it kind of grew on me a little bit. Yeah, at first, I didn't like the black and white, but it did grow on me, and I can't lie to you guys for real. Like, the first time I ever watched a film, I was like, why the fuck is this not in color? And then I suddenly realized, hey, guess what? The film is good enough as it is, so yeah. Black and white is good. Um... As for everything else, I don't believe that there was any practical effects or special effects, but uh, lighting looked good, uh, sets looked good. Um, the Some of the original scores and soundtracks is good for this movie. And I like the quick little fight at the end where Dante and Randall get into because he caused conflict for... Dante of basically the girl that slept with 37 guys broke up with him or some bullshit like that because he told her that he wanted Caitlyn and basically uh, something happened with Caitlyn but I don't want to spoil that. Um, other than that, this movie gets a 5 out of 5 and a hell fucking yeah, dog. You need to go pick this up right now. Alright, second film is Mallrats. And this is the sequel to Clerks. Also, that it's a prequel to Clerks. And it's supposed to take place a day before Clerks. Yeah, so anyways, what the movie is about in the story... Well, Brody and T.S. are chilling at the mall, whatever the fuck. And basically, they're trying to get their girlfriends back. Of course, Brody's girlfriend is with this stupid fucking asshole, which is beyond belief. And T.S.'s girlfriend is basically being used by her father to be on this love game show to basically... Try, try to go out with the all these guys, and it is up to Jane Silent Bob to basically sabotage, um, I guess what, whatever it is, this game love show or whatever the fuck, and to basically expose, um, Brody's girlfriend's new boyfriend. Yeah, that's basically it. So the story is really good here. And let's get into the characters. Of course, Brody, I, I like. Brody is someone that I could fucking relate to, man. Honestly. Like, this guy is into comic books and movies and all of that stuff. Uh, T.S., on the other hand, um, I'm alright with. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob, I really like in this film. <laughs> I mean, the mischief shit that they get into. <laughs> yeah. That is fucking awesome in itself. Um, as for the, the douchebag boyfriend that the Brody's girlfriend has, hell no. The dad, hell no. Alright, so let's get into uh, the acting by the actors and actresses. Well, uh, the acting by everyone is phenomenal. Jason Lee does a phenomenal job as Brody. Uh, whoever the guy is that played T.S., he did uh, a good job. Uh, ben Affleck, of course, that he's in the film and he plays the douchebag new boyfriend uh he did a phenomenal job of making me hate his ass also you got the the principal from back to the future in here he does a phenomenal job of playing an asshole that you love to hate yeah that in itself i like um jay and silent bob is just really good in here 
And what I meant to say, Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes does a good job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's how I see them as Jay and Silent Bob. But anyways, getting back to it. Um, Shen Dorothy does a phenomenal job. I mean, everyone does a phenomenal job in this film. And overall, um, the acting itself is just good. I'm sorry, let me move on. The characters, I think I already talked about, damn it. <laughs> I'm just jumping everywhere, I'm sorry. So let's get into the writing. As the movie moves on from point A to point B to point C, I really like point A, point B, and point C. I like all of it, just like Clerks. Um, the dialogue, the dialogue is almost same thing like Clerks. Okay, the cinematography and the visuals uh, for a 1995 film, it actually looks really good, and some of the shots is really nice to look at. And um, the practical effects, the special effects, all of that. It was really good. Lighting is good. Um, some of the original scores is good. And overall, the movie itself, this movie gets a 5 out of 5. Simple as that. And of course, the next film is Chasing Amy, which... I'm all right with, I'm okay with, it's nothing that great, it's nothing that good. I mean, it's an okay movie, but the only reason why I was watching it is for Jay and Silent Bob. Other than that, uh, the story and what the movie is about. Um, I'm trying to find uh, the character's name. Uh, Holden, uh, basically Holden is going after this woman that he really loves. Of course, that she was in a lot of relationships, and basically she feels that she's been soiled and all of that, and basically that she was a lesbo. And unfortunately, at the same time, uh, his friend Binky is a little bit jealous of the fact that he was not spending time with him. And bas basically that's it. That's all it is. And the story was okay here. And let's get into the characters. Alright, Holden himself. Holden I found to be okay. Binky I found to be okay. Um, the chick's name is not Amy. It's actually, uh, Elise, or whatever. Yeah, she's okay. Um, the only two that I liked out of the film was Jay and Silent Bob, and that's the only reason why I was watching it. Because other than that, these three characters was okay. Uh, let's get into the acting. Um, the acting uh, was okay here. The only two people that did a good job was Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. And I want to apologize right now for saying that uh, And when I was reviewing Mall Raps. That Jay and Silent Bob's acting was really good. What I meant to say was Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith's acting was really good. But uh, let's get back to it. The acting is okay. Um, the writing as the movie uh, goes from point A to point B to point C. Um, didn't really care. It was there. And I only like... Jay and Silent Bob's parts in the film. Um, the dialogue, almost same thing like Clerks and Mall Rats, but it's okay. 
The cinematography and the visuals was okay for this film. Um, lighting was okay. Everything else was just okay. It was all right. Uh, the scores was there. Everything was there. And for me, the movie, it's a three out of five. Simple as that. All right, so the next film is Dogma. So let's get into it. The story and what the movie is about. So basically, um, these uh, two angels are vanished from heaven. And basically, it is up to them to try to get back into heaven and try to take heaven. And basically, uh, what happens is, of course, that it is up to uh, three angels, uh, the special woman, and Jay and Silent Bob to save the day. Or else, um, everything would just get messed up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to say uh, the story here, it's a little bit better than uh, Chasing Amy. Alright, because this movie was way too serious. This movie uh, is not even a comedy. It's a drama, but still. Um, anyways, um, I really like how they are cast out of heaven and they got to try to get back into heaven. Yeah, and that's the story of itself. Okay, so let's get into the characters. Alright. Well, basically, I forgot the two angels' names because it's been so long since I ever watched a film. But whatever, I'm just going to call them Ben and Matt. Well, Ben and Matt is really good characters. And also, uh, Jay and Silent Bob, yet again... Hell too, the fucking yeah, dog. What can I? What more can I say? This is just fucking awesome, dude. Seriously. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um. Other than that, um, you have some really good characters in here, and oh, the, I forgot to mention uh, the shit demon. The shit demon is one of my favorite parts out of the film. Yeah, Shit Demon is actually a good character. Whatever whatever time he is on the screen for, maybe like five or six minutes, I, I forgot, maybe a couple of seconds. Yeah, he's really good in here. And the acting by everyone, uh, they did a phenomenal job, of course. Uh, ben Affleck himself, Matt Damon himself, uh, Linda... I'm going to butcher her last name. I don't want to butcher it. Uh, Salma Hayek and Jason Lee, Jason Hughes, Alan Rickman, and Chris Rock does a phenomenal job as for Kevin Smith too. And as... For everyone else, they do a phenomenal job as well. Uh, the writing as the movie moves on from point A to point B to point C, I actually like all of it, just like Clerks and Mallrats. Hell too, the fucking yeah, dog. And let's get into the dialogue. The dialogue, almost same thing like Clerks and Mallrats. So, yeah. It was just cursing up a storm and so on and so forth. Uh, the cinematography and the visuals actually look good for a 1999 film. Yeah, that's fucking awesome in itself. Hell too, the fucking yeah, dog. So, um, let's see, the... Practical effects actually look as good. Special effects look good. Uh, lighting looks really good. Um, from what i seen, gunplay. Um, yeah, because there is some gunplay in this film. Gunplay actually looks pretty good. It really does. And 
some of the sets look nice and as for everything else it's good uh the original scores and soundtracks is also really good and overall the movie itself just know the fact that sorry about that again that this is a very controversial film and if you are a christian uh I guess don't even watch the movie at all. But still, I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 5. Alright, and my favorite in the series, Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back. Snooch to Nooch. Hell too, the fucking yeah, dog. So anyways, let's get into it. Uh, what the movie is about in the story, or what, or the story and what the movie is about. I'm sorry, people. So, anyways, uh, Jay and Silent Bob basically get, uh, what is that word I'm looking for? They get kicked off from, uh, the quick stop, and basically what they find out is that, um, there was a movie being made off of their, uh, to superhero characters, Black Man and Chronicle. And what happens is, uh, they gotta go to Hollywood to either stop this picture or get money from this picture. And also the fact that there is uh, these internet trolls talking shit about them on poopshoot.com. So yeah, it is up to them to go to Hollywood and try to stop this film or try to get money from this film. And that's it for the story. I really like how uh, that they just go everywhere. That it's just focusing on this trip and of them going to Hollywood and trying to stop this cow damn picture and of ruining their names as well. Yeah, so let's get into the characters. Of course... Jay is my favorite. Hell to the fucking yeah, dog. For reals, for rizzle. Silent Bob's second favorite character, and of course, third favorite character has to be Justice because she is hot as fuck, and also that she is a spy as well. Or an agent. But a fake agent to steal diamonds, and that's a second subplot in this film, but I don't want to spoil that. Um, the, the deputy is okay, and, uh, some of the characters from Clerks, Mall Rats, I think Chasing Amy, and I think, uh, Dogma is in this film as well. Some of them is in this film, and that's really awesome in itself. And also the fact that, uh, I'm sorry for nodding my head, I'm sorry. I mean, it's just really good, honestly. And let's get into the acting. Jason Mewes does a phenomenal job. Kevin Smith does a phenomenal job. Um, damn, I forgot her name, shit. Shannon Elizabeth does a phenomenal job. Chris Rock does a phenomenal job. Uh, Will Ferrell, that played the, the deputy or whatever, uh, did a phenomenal job. I mean, everyone did a phenomenal job in this film. And let's get up to the writing. As the movie goes from point A to point B to point C, I actually liked all of it. And I think my favorite would have to be um, point B and point C, because that's when the film, um, in my opinion, is over the top and cartoony as well, and that's what I like about this film. Okay, so let's get into the cinematography and the visuals. The cinematography and the visuals actually look really good for a 2001 movie, and... 
Let me see what else. Uh, practical effects look good. Special effects look good. Um, lighting looks good. Sets look good. Um, everything else is good. The original soundtrack is good. And overall, the movie itself. This movie gets a 5 out of 5. And a hell fucking yeah, dog. You need to just go pick up this film right now. And I guess that's the end of part one. I'll do part two uh, whenever I can.